Good, we have another one, financial model. This time we have the word continuously in there instead of a regular compounded monthly or weekly or yearly like the previous example. So if you have that and you don't have the, that key word in there and you have the word continuously, that means we have to use a different formula. So we don't have an N in this case. The formula is going to be this one, A equals PE to the RT. So for that one, uh, we don't have, in this case, there's no R in there. Now your P is still going to be 300 like before. Your rate is still going to be 0.12. And then your time is 1.5. So all these are actually going to be the same as what we had for the previous example. The difference now is that we, we don't have a word monthly or weekly, so we don't have an N in this case. That's because the formula itself doesn't have an N in there either. It's a special form that it has the letter E in there. And letter E would, would be that constant we talked about before, like a log base E or th that same kind of E there. So in this case, that's only going to be used when you see the word continuously. We're going to plug the numbers in there and see what kind of difference we make as far as interest is concerned because these are actually the same as the previous example. We just want to see how much extra money we make for interest this time. We have A is equal to P is 300. E to the R, R is 0.12, and we're multiplying that by our years, which is 1.5. So both of these are going to be up there in the exponent position. When you multiply these together, you're going to get 0.18. 0.12 times 1.5 will give you 0.18. You want to do this part in your calculator. Now in this part, the E, usually your calculator will have an LN and right above it you'll see an E the caret or E the X key. That's the one that you want to use here. So what you would do is you would do E raised to the 0.18 and then multiply by 300. Now if you do all that with a calculator, your final result you should get will be $359.17. So we make a little bit more, not much, because the last one was only uh, really 358 and 80 cents. So you don't make a whole lot difference, but you do make a little bit more interest, interest on this one. And that's always the case if you have compounding continuously, because essentially it's continuing, uh, it's compounding basically all the time, forever, not just 12 times a year or 365 a year. It's all the time compounding. So when you do that, that's why you get a little bit more, but again, it's not. Not going to break the bank, but of course if you have a very large principle, that will make a big difference.